Welcome to Lead Online. We're excited to show you the new options and functionality now available to support Lead version 4.1 within Lead Online. Start by logging in to lo.usgbc.org. Your email and password are the same as your usgbc.org account. Once logged in, you will see a feed of any recent activity and a list of projects. Let's create a new project. This form is where you will enter basic information about your project. Don't worry, you'll be able to go back and edit these details later. This is also where you select a rating system. Lead version 4.1 for operations and maintenance is now available, along with lead version 4.1 for building design and construction and interior design and construction. We'll continue to add additional LEED version 4.1 rating systems to this list as they become available. Within the Operations and Maintenance rating system, you can select existing buildings or interiors. For our example, we'll select LEED version 4.1 Operations and Maintenance Existing Buildings. When you are done entering project details, click Continue. This will bring up the certification agreement. You must scroll through the agreement and then click I agree. You will first see a message that your project has been registered successfully. Then you will be directed to the payment page. You can view the current fees at usgbc.org slash cert dash guide slash fees. Once you've entered your payment information, click submit payment. Once payment has cleared, you can start working on your project in Lead Online. Click on the name of the project to get started. Here, you will see a variety of tabs for the project, starting with details. Here, you will see the project details you entered during registration, and you can edit them by clicking the pencil icon. By default, the view will be Pre-Certification, which is available for LEED version 4.1 projects. By clicking the Timeline button, you can opt to skip pre-certification and proceed directly to regular certification, which we've done for the purposes of this example. The second tab you'll see is Credits. As always, this is where you can see the list of available credits and choose to attempt them. When you click on each credit, you'll see a Forms tab. We're excited that in LEED version 4.1, credit forms are HTML-based and can be completed directly within LEED Online. This means it's compatible with all browsers, and an activity log of all changes on a particular credit is automatically logged on LEED Online. As an example, let's look at the Heat Island Reduction Credit. Click the name of the credit, and then on the Form button. This will bring up the web-based form. Here, you can enter information on each contributing measure using the plus and minus signs to add or delete rows. Once you've completed the form, you can click Save. You can always come back and edit this form anytime before you submit for review. You can also export a PDF of the form with the data you've entered at any time by clicking the PDF icon at the top right of the form. For more complex calculations, such as the Rainwater Management Credit, there are still offline calculators. When you click Form, you will be brought to a page where you can upload any offline calculators directly to the form. Within LEED version 4.1 for Operations and Maintenance, there are five performance-based prerequisites. To attempt these prerequisites, click the Data button underneath each prerequisite. This will allow you to enter data about your project directly into Lead Online. The exact type of data varies based on the prerequisite, but generally speaking, you can enter data manually, upload it through USGBC's data import template, or connect to existing data sources such as Energy Star, meters, or a building automation system. To add a new meter, click Meters and Surveys. This will bring up a list of all of the required data for the five performance prerequisites. As data is entered, it will also show your score in each category. Clicking the Settings icon will bring up a menu where you can add a meter, change information about the building's settings, and generate a report based on the data that you have entered so far. When you click Add a New Meter, you'll walk through the simple steps of entering basic information about your meter, 
entering the data, and uploading documentation. Here you can see the type of information you'll be entering about each meter. Once the meter has been created, you can begin entering data manually by adding a row, or you can upload an Excel file, or finally, you can connect to Portfolio Manager. Once you have entered data about your project, you will see your score for that prerequisite in the Meters and Survey section. That score is directly tied to the data you have entered. So, if you've connected to an existing data source, as the data updates through that source, the score will be updated on a rolling basis. You can also see your scores in each of the performance areas. You can also add data for any of these areas directly from the Meters and Surveys page. You'll notice under Human Experience, there are a variety of items that can be tracked. Only the occupant survey, carbon dioxide, and the total volatile organic compounds contribute to the human experience score. The rest are optional for the project's own tracking only. At any point, you can return to your credits view for the project through the top navigation. Here you'll see a snapshot of all prerequisites and credits for the project. Once all documentation is complete, Make sure to mark all credits as ready for review by clicking the gray checkboxes on the left side of the credit name. Then you're ready to submit. You'll also notice that LEED version 4.1 Operations and Maintenance Projects can opt into the LEED Zero program directly from an existing project in LEED Online. Once your project has earned initial certification, you'll use LEED Online to recertify your project. Return to your project in LEED Online. You'll see your score and certification level at the top of the page. Click the recertification button to get started. You'll then keep your data and therefore your certification current. For more information, review the recertification guidance for LEED Buildings document. We're excited for you to start using LEED Online for your LEED version 4.1 projects. Questions? Contact LEED v4.1 at usgbc.org.